Uh, this morning we've had, uh, heard a lot of perspectives on banking union, uh, some political, some economic, some legal. Um, so what we're going to get today, or this afternoon, for the next hour or so, is the perspective from, the, from these four jurisdictions and from four individuals who have been very actively involved in the banking union discussion. So we'll hear how it affects them and their jurisdictions and maybe get their perspective on, uh, on, how, on the, the wider European impacts as well. Um, the process raises an awful lot of questions. So what I would hope we would do is hear from our speakers and then go immediately to the floor. So please consider any questions you would like to raise. Um, this is a, a very good opportunity, I think, to understand some of the, the practical realities and, and reflections that, that uh, our panellists will have. Um, so on AQR, for example, um, we have a lot of issues. We have the fact uh, that while it sounds and looks like a, a harmonised uh, uh, review across Europe, um, a lot of the reporting will actually happen in the local accounting standard. So in Spain, for example, it might be under Spanish GAP and not under IFRS. So, you know, i am be interested to hear from our panellists just how, how this, whether this has a real impact or, or not. Um, we have a lot of possible scenarios following the asset quality review. So what's it going to result in? Is it going to result in just more cap an affirmation of the level of capital in the system or a need for more capital? Or um, are we going to see uh, it bring about some restructuring? We heard uh, Andrea Enria from the European Banking Authority comment recently that only 40 banks were, re were uh, wound down in Europe through the crisis compared with over 500 in the US. So is that this telling us uh, that we should expect a greater degree uh, or greater pace of banks being wound down in Europe? So I, I look forward to the discussion we have. I'm going to invite Anthony, first of all, to take the floor and to, uh, to, pass, to make his comments. Okay, thank you.